Alright guys, what is going on? We are here to do the next mission for the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, single player. We are going back to 1986 apparently, so let's go ahead and change our loadout to, uh, well, let's use the Galil. Why not? And give it Reflex and Extended Clip. Can I, uh, Let's look at what I have available here. Uh, let's use the Uzi as my secondary. With uh, extended clip and foregrip. Flashbang grenade. That sounds great. That sounds good. We'll have all three of those. Why not? Alright, let's go ahead and start. I can't figure out the ninja is without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. The CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. They know if Russian was in Afghanistan, they're looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal. Deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raul Menendez. We have fresh horses. We'll follow. Oh shit. Let's do it. Who a fresh horse. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jao? What is this? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I didn't notice this before. What the hell are you gonna do with that? You never know. Ho oh, ho. I got a fucking sword. Oh. I can fucking take on God with this. Oh man, I did not notice that before. That was that is awesome. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. So this is the Oso oh horse mission that everyone knew about before the game even came out. The second people saw the horses in that trailer, people were like, what the fuck? They had no idea what was going on. I'm going faster than these people. Yeah. I don't have the 
tower is. What's that guy doing? Stone guy and oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Yep. Hey, you guys like those AKs? Hope you do. It's a good gun. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. What good is a weapon without a soldier? Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. We're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. Yalla! Yalla! Bada Birun! You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. Man, why is every shooter picking Russians hurry. nowadays? You cannot allow them to enter the valley! Well, I, I, I know the reason, but still. That's why I kind of liked Homefront when they went with the whole Korean route. I'm gonna take those mortars. I want to fuck someone up with the sword. Look at that. That is great. Helicopter's getting a little low. Man. I like the Galil. It was probably one of my more favorite weapons for the little amount of time I actually played the first Black Ops. Man. Can't wait to fuck someone up with that sword. Oh, horsey. Okay. Uh, time to go fuck someone up with the sword. Oh, come on, Woods, you jerk. I know you want to see it, too. Oh, fuck you! Man, this thing is great. Oh, okay, go that way. Black guy. Ooh, hey, buddy. Copy. Sword! AK-74U, is that what that was? Not that gun again. Oh, it's Woods. Damn it, Woods. Let's go ahead and run my ass over here. Take these guys by surprise. How you doing? I was hoping I could get a twofer. Oh man, that guy's hurting. Hurting, buddy? Let's go ahead and take this. I think I'm gonna use these, but try laying them in the path of the vehicles. Don't even probably won't even get to use my Uzi. Oh god, no, not a grenade. Oh come on. I got hit by the grenade in midair, then I think the impact of the drop killed me. Yeah, yeah, in the woods. Gotta calm down, alright? If I saw my sword. Oh, what the oh, he got fucking. I don't know what that was. It's like he. That was. I don't know what that was, but that was great. That dude got fucked. Alright. Try this again. What 
the hell? Why is there two over there all of a sudden? Maybe I'm just too fast for this or something. Why won't that thing die? Here we go. The Mujahideen can handle infantry. Mason, put a cranny charge under the archway. Let's make the absurd no more people make it At least one of them. Oh, I got that. Oh, he was missing his arm. He just had a nub. Right, let's go back to my, uh, wherever it is I'm going. I think don't work anymore. <laughs> Woods. There we go. Set. Are you trying to blow yourself up? No, I'm trying Do to blow up that uh, Zao guy. Hudson, the point is secure. Armor ain't getting through this way. Woods, Mason, they're throwing everything they have at us. We've got threats all over the valley. Hoosier reporting rushing tanks moving in from the north. Roots force and strength in numbers. We expected such a fight. There should be that one in it! Oh my god. You literally have to, like, stop and shoot this thing. Oh my god, another tank. Okay, heal up a little bit, would you? Are you... That guy got in the way of the rocket. Okay, this one's like right here. Hopefully, I should be able to hit it. Scouts report enemy gunships to the north of the valley. Move to engage. Roger that, Hudson. Moving to intercept. They actually did really well with the controls for the boars. Of course, I wouldn't hit the one I actually need to hit. Horse, okay. The base camp is under attack. No, not that helicopter. There you go. The gunships initialized. We have more Russian helos inbound from the north. We're on it, Hudson. Okay. Hit him. Thank you. Crap grenade. Oh, I call shenanigans. The grenade icon wasn't even on my screen. I call shenanigans on that. God damn it. There you go. The gunships are grounded! The Russians have overrun the bush ammo cache in the east. Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Muller Roman is concerned. He thinks we're losing the fight. You tell Roman for me, I'll give a shit about his concerns. The ammo cache is left of the valley. Dismount. Okay, dismount the horse, would you? We will proceed on foot. Oh my god, I gotta run backwards a little bit. Woods? You couldn't kill the guy on the other side of the tank, Woods? What are you doing? I'm basically saving Woods' ass. Let's head up here. Ow. It's a helicopter. I'll get more ammo. My shit. You know, just because I can. How about that? I would like some more grenades. Saw a guy. Where? Oh, there he is. 
Hudson, the ammo cache is ours. You fight bravely, American. Mason, return to base. We have a problem. What kind of problem? You better see for yourself. Oh, got it. Sweet. Oh, chump, we'll fuck the bridge. Who's that? Oh. oh that's one of our guys, too. Ow, fuck A. Shit, that's, uh... There we go. Hopefully that should save my ass a little bit. Hey, remember them when this bridge was actually hanging? And that one over there, too? Oh, those were good times. Before I fucked them up. Oh, fuck, I fucking ran that guy over. Alright, did Woods already leave without me? I'm a jerk. man was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head and he shoved those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. Well, they just they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason, take a look. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? Alright, let's go. Epic battle against with horses against tank. That's gonna work out well. I can't even move forward or sideways, just for or sideways or backwards, just forward. Oh, dead horsey! Now the tank's gonna run over the dead horse. No respect for the dead man. Come on. Times they saw the tick. They get that look in his eyes. They're scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old Tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. If you see the fuck out of my way, I can finish business with this bastard. <laughs> I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Nobody told me. Buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for me? Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. 
Tell me about Menendez. Oh ho. The sort of Bolaco! Shoraco! The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. We have to fight the Russians on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Like I said before, I'm basically gonna do all the stuff I haven't, like all the bad shovel, decisions. You may last a day. If you are strong. Basically, gonna pick all the choices that I haven't seen other people pick on YouTube. Again, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a walkthrough somewhere out there where people make all the, you know, quote unquote bad decisions, but I haven't seen one, so I wanna I wanna try it, you know. Why not? So, in a desert buried, the year, who does your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? Well, there we go. I was going to say, don't tell me my PlayStation froze. Alright, so there's the end of that mission. So, next up is a... Oh, it's one of the Strike Force things that uh, that I will not be doing. I do not... I do not uh, enjoy the Strike Force missions. This one you have to do, because it's like an introduction into the Strike Force missions, but... I'm not going to do all of them. Of course I'm going to do this one, because... Of course I have to, but... Um, the other ones I will not do. I have no desire to do them. I do not really like them. Not my type of thing, I guess, but plus there are plenty of videos out there of the Strike Force missions anyway, so. But that is the end of that mission, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Black Ops 2, and uh, I will see you guys next time. I am out.